how do I start? My love. <gasps> My love. I don't know where to start from. Since you came into my life, it's been all bliss and adventure at the same time. Yes, yes. On this day, being our eighth year in this marriage, I um, okay. I wish you love and good health. I'm good to go. My love. Yeah. Today is a special day. It's our anniversary. It's a wonderful day for us. It's midnight already. I know it's past 5 a.m. But I just wanted something unique. You know, something... Out of the ordinary. Something that is, what, being memorable? What do you think? Happy anniversary to us. Yeah, happy anniversary to us. <clears throat> Well, I actually want to recite a poem, a special poem for you, but my heart beats fast. Okay, you're just such a wonderful woman. Come, I have a surprise for you. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm too sleepy. Oh, come. You still want us to go there? Oh. you've shown me over the years is indescribable. You have loved me more than I ever, ever imagined to be loved. You are so caring, so loving, so gentle. You're everything a woman Whatever desire in a man. Hmm. Okay. Should I tell you something? You've been the one who have done everything. You've given me everything. You've given me love, care, affection. You've been my pillar when the ground trembles. <laughs> I mean, you've done it all. I'm not done. Let me interrupt you. Hmm? My love, I am one of the luckiest men on earth. Who would have believed that You've been the one footing our bills for many years now. You bought a car for me on my birthday. 
He gave me money to support my business when things went wrong. I must say I love you. You've done everything for me. I love you too. Very much. Now, do you know what? <laughs> what? We're not going anywhere. We're going to be in this house. Eat, marry, dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking you off today. Mom. You're awake. What? Is it my birthday again? No. It's our anniversary. Anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's been eight years since I got married to daddy. So wish us well. I wish you well. <laughs> so, are we cutting the cake now? No, no, no. Come, come. We are not cutting the cake. We're cutting the cake in the morning. Okay? Okay. So right now, I want you to... Oh! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> to your bedroom. Go, 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 go. Okay. I'm watching you go to your bedroom. Ah, you promise? Hey, to your bedroom. In the morning, we'll cut the cake. You will cut the cake in the morning. We are going to dance, marry, okay. dance, okay. enjoy. Okay, baby. Play. Okay, baby. Nothing <laughs> is gonna stop it. <laughs> I love you. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To our uh, beautiful union. Cheers. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Honey? Yes, my love. There is something I want to tell you, but I don't know if this is the right time to tell you this. What is it, baby? I don't know how to say it because I don't want this thing to ruin our beautiful moment. Nothing can ruin this beautiful moment. Good. Say it. Tell me whatever it is. If it's something that I can do, trust me, I'll do it. Okay. Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Something came to my mind last week. Let me hear it. Okay, you see, since my business is dragging, I want to go into a new business. I want to start importing. Importation? Yeah. What exactly do you intend to import? I want to start importing condiments. Condiments? Yeah. Um, that's not a bad idea. But I I don't think condiments will fly in a country where we produce locally made condiments. Oh. So I think you should go into something something that would sell like white fire in the market. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what of um, sweet and toffee? Perfect. Right. Perfect. Yes. You know, if you have your market target and um, strategy, do your market survey. Okay. Trust me, this will fly. And then your capital, what do you intend to invest? Okay, I... I think I'll be needing like four million to invest in this business. 
Um, I mean, your capital. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, extra family and can. It will go far. Yeah. Okay, but I. I thought I gave you some money. <laughs> what happened to the money I gave you? Which money? I mean, I just have two million left. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I need just just extra for me then too. Uh, here, can we continue? <laughs> no, no. Look, if you don't want to give me this money, tell me. I I I need money to to start up this new business. Just 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 extra for me then. Yes. If you don't want to give it to me, then let's leave it. Okay. Can we talk about this some other time? It's okay. Fine. Okay. What? Why? I don't get it. Why would you walk? You've left? How do I go home? You left with a car? Hello? What do we call this? you were upset? How could you? How could you ruin a day like this for me? What's there to celebrate joy? While deep down inside of me, I'm not joyous. Money makes a man. Eh? A man needs money. Oh. So, this marriage has been based on money? Your love for me has been based on money? You can call it whatever you want. You said you do not have any money left with you. What happened to the five million naira I gave you last November? I've not been making profit. Business is slow. We have a lot of competition. November was just three months ago. Besides, I have been the one paying all the bill in this house. What happens to you supporting me? Do you have to remind me that? Huh? You have to remind me that you've been the one paying all the bills all this while. Why? As if I'm lavishing money on something else. Business can be slow, you know? So what do you want me to do? Uh, I want you to sell the land you bought two years ago or maybe i'll use the money to start up a business we can buy another land on a better site there is no land to sell what do you mean there is no land to sell it means the land has been sold sold by who are you angry i sold my own land to solve a family problem Please, please, please. I don't want problems. Let's not completely destroy today. Please. Why didn't you tell me before selling the land? Do I have to tell you before selling my own land? Yes, you have to tell me. I have every right to know whatever you want to sell as your husband. Oh, well, the deed has been done. Hmm. Okay. 
Now, how much did you sell the land? I don't know. I asked Peniel to sell it. And he did. He used the money to travel to Canada yesterday. Peniel sold the land and traveled with home money? Are you angry? Yes. Yes, I am angry. So this is all about your family. Wait. You were angry because I sold a land I bought with my own hard earned money to solve my family problem? Oh. Penua is more important than your hustling husband, right? Honey, I gave you five million naira from selling my own property to support your business just this last November, three months ago. It's not even up to one year. Now listen to me. I want the document to that land by tomorrow morning. Do you understand? for you. What is this? You want... Baby. Go to your room and change your clothes. Okay. Freshen up, all right? Okay. You want a divorce? Why? I do not have time to answer that stupid question. All I want is a divorce, and that is final. You need to call your sister because I don't, I don't understand what, what, what this is. Hello, Ego. Please, can you come to my house right now? All right. My, this, this is like a... Am I dreaming? It. You don't look cheerful. Nothing, I'm fine. No. I know you. I know you too. I know how happy you are whenever I come around. What happened? Your brother gave me that. Where is this coming from? I don't know. 
Did you have problems with him? Not at all. Did you assault him? No, I did not. I have never assaulted him. I have never insulted him. And I've never thought about doing it, not even for once. Then why does he want a divorce? I can ask him. Oh, what is... What have come from my brother? Where is he now? Sitting room. Okay. It's okay, don't worry. I'll be right back. Brother, what is the meaning of this? The owner of the letter knows the content of the letter. And she's required to respond as soon as possible. Where is this coming from? How did you even make this decision? What has she done to you? Go and ask her what she did to me. Brother, you still have not said what she has done to you. Yes, you've not said anything. Because I know your wife. She's not a knack. She makes sure she prepares your food on time. She respects you. So what has she done to you? Hey girl. Just this past November, I sold a land I bought in my name and gave your brother five million naira to support his business. This is February. And he asked me to sell another land to give him more money. And I told him there's no more land to sell. The only land I had left, I gave it to my brother to sell and use the money to go to Canada this Sunday. Tell me, how have I offended your brother? In what way did I do him wrong? <laughs> brother, if this is what happened, then what is our offense? My friend, this is my family affair, so do not interfere. Brother, don't tell me your love for her is based on money. Hey, shut up and get out of this house. What is wrong with you? How can a wife sell a land without a husband's consent? Brother, can you even listen to yourself? Can you hear yourself? You sound childish. You know what? Papa must hear this. I'm going to tell Papa about this. Yeah, go ahead and tell Papa whatever you want to tell Papa. Huh? and nothing will make me change my mind. Very well then. And I'm going to the village right away to tell Papa about this. Papa must hear this. Now, I want you to tell me what exactly did Anne do that prompted your decision to end this marriage? Tell me. Papa, she has been a ton of my flesh. I want peace of mind. And she cannot give me the kind of peace I want. Hmm. Papa, he's lying, you know. He's lying. His anger is that Anne sold her land, her own land, though, and give the brother the money to travel to Bodoibo. You see that devil inside of you that is beating the drum of shame to take you nowhere. Anne is not going to leave this house. You heard that? I've heard. Good. And, like I said, you will stay put. You are not going anywhere. Okay? Thank you, Papa. Um, Ego. Papa. Come and see me. Okay, Papa. Okay.
Why are you doing this? What do you intend to achieve by doing all this? You brought your father all the way from the village to the city to settle issues between you and your wife. Do you think your father is proud of you? I don't care if he's proud of me or not. Yes, I'm going to do what makes me happy. And no one can stop me. Hey, hey, you, get ready because we're going to the courts tomorrow. Nothing will keep you in this house till weekend. We need to talk. I am not just in the mood to talk about anything. And don't even beg me for anything because I'm not ready to forgive you. Do you really want us to go into this storm of war? Don't you know people will laugh at us? People will not laugh at me. Rather they will laugh at you. And let me make it clear to you. Even if you leave this house or not, I will marry another wife. And you will leave this house shamefully. You really want us to do this, right? Fine. I will not leave this house until you pay me every money I lent you. And if you do not pay, I will sell this house and everything in it to make my money. Hey, 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 hey. If you try any stupid thing with me, I will kill you and bury you. We shall see. Don't even threaten me with that because I won't take it from you. I will tie the rope of war and hand it over to you. If you want, bring a rod and chain. Are you ready? We shall see. even want to beg me for forgiveness. Who the hell does she think she is? After all, how much did you give me? You gave it to me out of love. Uh -huh. And so? The issue between Ken and his wife shouldn't be ignored. Ken, your brother, I'm sorry to say this, is a very careless person. He will certainly do all he has said. So the earlier you start doing something about this, the better for all of us. Honestly, I don't know what to do at this point. I have called my uncle, but he said he is not in the country at the moment. 
And I know Ken will never listen to Papa. I think you need to go and talk to Anna. You need to talk to Anna to ignore whatever he's going to do. Or better still, he should leave the house and go stay with her friend, Joan. What about Kelechi? What about him? I'm worried about him. He's too young to go through all this trauma, all this danger. I'm really worried. Your brother needs spiritual help. Because what is happening to him now is not ordinary. Maybe he has fallen into the web of an evil young girl. <laughs> evil young girl. <laughs> Does he womanize? I have not said that. Ah, um, um, what's going on? Why are you shouting my name? Where is my car? Your car? Yes. Do you have a car? When did you buy a car? Um, please don't mess with me. I don't want to be angry. Where is my car? I don't know why you are shouting. When did you buy a car that I'm not aware of? Wait. Are you by any chance referring to the car I bought for you? And where is my car? I don't want to get upset with you. Where is the car? Why would you get upset over what does not belong to you? That car is mine. And I've sold it. What? You sold my car? Mm -mm. Are you mad? Mm -mm. Point of correction. I sold my car. Ah. I don't want to lose it. Do not make me to do what I would regret. Where is that car? Kennedy, I dare you to do what you will regret. I dare you. Do your worst. Um, don't make me lose it. Do not make me to do what I will regret. Don't try to come an inch close to me. Don't try it. I am going to... Don't. This is just the beginning. <laughs> I'll leave your house. But I am going to leave with everything I came with. With interest. Each close. <laughs> Take more of it. I greet everyone in this house. I greet you. Okay. How are you? I'm good, but I'm not fine. So please call your daughter and warn her to return my car in less than four hours. Else she'll be a dead meat. Calm down. What's the problem? Call her and ask her what the problem is. Your daughter sold my car. And when I said I'm going to deal with her, I am going to deal with her. I'm going to deal with her. Ken, calm down. What's the problem? 
if anything happened between you and your wife, at least you come down and talk to us. Not by shouting. Oh, I'm shouting. What are you are shouting? I'm now? telling you that your daughter sold my car and almost stabbed me to death. You're telling me that I'm shouting. Is that what a good father should say? Hey, hold it there. What is it? That's not the way to talk to my husband, okay? I wonder. You came in here. If there's any problem, you come down and you tell us. Then we know how to find a solution to it. You don't mm. talk to my husband that way. Uh. Understood? Mm. Yes. Is that how you people are saying it? Huh? Okay, don't worry. I am now going to do it my own way. Now, wait and see the result. Now, listen to no, me. Wait. Now, listen. If anything happens to my daughter, I will show you the other side of it. This what young man. He? What did he drink? Let me call our daughter. Hello? Hello? She sold my car. She sold my car. Then when I confronted her, she threatened to stab me to death. You see? Is it the kind of woman you are asking me to forgive? Someone who cares only about herself and her family. Ken, if I have to confess to you, I'll tell you the truth. You brought this upon yourself. I have tried to talk with you over time, but you vehemently refuse to listen. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know what your wife have done for you all this while when things are bad. Why are you like this? Are you trying to say that she has every right to sell my car? Well, you and I know that she bought the car in the first place for you when you sold yours to support your business, that little crumbled. Then she gave you money that brought you this far to where you are today. So I'm not surprised if she sold the car because you're not expecting her to leave your house empty-handed, ain't you? I can see you on her side. But make sure you still be on her side when I'll start dealing with her. Because I must deal with her. My friend, remember, I once told you that if there's anything you can be afraid of in this life, it's to be afraid of a woman who keeps silent whenever she's angry, who do not like to talk when she's upset. And your wife, is one of those women. Are you forgotten how dangerous I can be when I'm angry? I guess you know. I do not know what is wrong with you. But whatever it takes, I guess God knows the best. I'm done here. What the hell is going on? Where is my car? Hey, hey. If you want to rant, stay far. I'm going to cut your throat if you come an inch close to me. A if minute. you want us to kill ourselves, we will kill ourselves. But by the time I go up there and come down, I want that car packed in this compound. Do you understand? Story for the gods. Okay, watch. Story for the gods. <laughs> you are not serious. Go on, come out. I'm here. What? What is happening here? <laughs> Where are my properties? I sold them. And you still owe me three million five hundred and seventy thousand naira. Wait, wait. You sold my things? You sold everything in the bedrooms? 
you mad or something? Are you mad? <laughs> Why are you shining your eye? Are you suddenly... Oh, you're here. Welcome. Well, this is the house. You can take a look. You can go to the rooms. Feel free, look around. I don't understand. Take a look based on what? What's going on? Hey, my friend. This house is not for sale. Okay? <laughs> so you can leave here if I call the police on you. Who is this man? Uh, ignore him. He's little or nothing. He was my manager in my bakery. Yeah, so do not listen to anything he has to say. He's usually under the influence of meth. What? what? Me? Under the influence of meth? Before I call the police on you now, you better leave here. Leave this house now. Permit me to keep him calm, ma. Oh, I like you. You are free to do whatever you want with him. Hey, be careful. Do not allow him to inflict any kind of pain on you because usually, you know, his madness gets severe. What's, what's going on here? Hey, 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 excuse me, dog. Do not touch me. I'm a black devil. I will punch your nose. Don't, don't. You're, you're going to die. You're going to lose it. I'm, I'm not mad. I, I, I am not mad. Don't do this. Oh, you're, you're here and, and they're, they're doing this to me. I, I am not mad. I, don't, don't, don't. I, if I get off from here, She sold everything in the house, as if that wasn't enough. Papa, Anne brought some talks, and they bound me and sold my house. Kenny, what has come over you? Huh? Do you really enjoy what is going on? You want to kill yourself simply because your wife gave some money to her own brother? Papa. Papa, I just told you that Anne brought some talks to bind me. Ken, you brought this upon yourself. If you had listened to me, this wouldn't have happened. Look, you have to sort this out yourself. Look, women are very smart these days. How do you expect to send out your wife from your house? And you expect her to live with nothing? Impossible. Besides, Anne has done a lot for you. Well, so simply because she has done a lot for me, that gives her the right to sell the house. Huh? Papa, go and tell her father that I'm going to skin her alive when I find her. Brother. Mm -hmm. Brother, do you really enjoy this fitty drama of yours? Do you really enjoy this dance of shame? My friend, if you don't know what to say, better shut up. Look, brother, I have tried to shut up, but I know it will haunt me soon. I need to talk to you. What have taken away your senses? What did your wife do to you? How can an adult like you not hold your family together? I've told you if you don't know what to say, just, 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 shut, up, just shut your mouth. Allow me to talk before you shut me up. When you finish paying your wife all the money she has spent on you, you can let her go. I know she will find and settle you after she has sold the house. <gasps> hmm. I know what to do. Papa, 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 call your son to order. Call him to order because I know Anne. I know she's not joking. I am not calling him to order. Let Anne collect her money by any means she wants. I mean, I don't support rubbish. I'm a very principled human being. Uh, 
for the sake of your son, please. You have to let this go. Huh? That boy is too young and innocent to face whatever you are about to put him into. My son is safe where he is. And there is no way Ken is going to set his eyes on my son until I take him out of this country. And you went too far. Honestly, you went too far by selling the house. I understand you're angry with him, but this... But she, I know what I want. There is no way I'm going to allow Ken to intimidate me. Hell no, I won't let him do that. I'm not one of these ladies who men can treat anyhow, use and dumb them in the name of marriage. No, I am not. By the time I am done with him, he will leave to regret it. Fine. Now that you've sold the house, can you at least give him part of the money? At least to start up something. There is no way I'm going to do that. I won't do it. This is just not working at all. Anne, you have to leave town now. Why? Because Ken is looking for you all over the town. I don't want him to hurt you. Please, leave town. If you love your brother, tell him to run when he sees me. I am going to hurt him for wasting my time. I'm going to hurt him for destroying my innocence. Tell him. Anna, Anna, Anna. Oh, ah. Mr. Stubborn Child, you have ears but refuse to hear. You know they fear. Hey, you don't even care. Mm. What is what you want to? Child, I like each other. You have been advised, but you know agree, you refuse to see. Dad, where's our car? Ask your mommy where our car is. Mom, where's our car? Let's just say, Daddy owes me some money. So mommy had to sell the car to make the money. Okay. Your mommy sold our car and everything. Everything? Mom, is that true? I am going to only tamper justice with mercy because of my parents. Nothing else. Hey. You don't even care. Mm -hmm. What is what you want to? Chai, I like each other. Uh -huh. You have been advised, but you know, agree. You refuse to see. Say, now trouble you, they find you. Oh. Very soon you go get them double, double. Oh, oh. She's playing with my emotions. And I'm going to deal with her. Seriously. If she have any scratch, consider yourself dead.
What she did was to tell your brother that she knows what she wants. If she never loves him, she would have left long ago. My only concern is that I've been talking to your brother all this while. But he wouldn't listen. He still insists on going on with a divorce. <sighs> well, Buchi, you've really tried. You've proven yourself that you're a good friend. I love my brother to do whatever he has made up his mind to do. I trust Anne. I know she has something she's bottling up. What does that mean? I tried talking to her. She says something that my brother is going to look for her and beg her, but she won't give in. So what do you think she meant? Striking back, of course. I guess. Striking what? I hope she's not going to hurt him. I don't think so. I don't think that is the case. If Anne wanted my brother dead, she could have done that long time ago. Will you be in court on Tuesday? Nope. I can't stand that rubbish. In fact, I don't want anything that will make me angry. I'll be there. Good. Well, can we get somewhere and have a drink? No, I'm fine. Oh my gosh. What's that? Oh. Anne. Anne asked me to pick up Kelechi by 2.30. Oh, really? And this is past 4 p.m. I have to go now. I'll call you. Oh, let me drop you off then. Really? Sure. Okay, thank okay. you. I don't know, darling. Please, who are you? I should be the one asking you that question because this is my fiance's house. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Who is your fiance? What kind of stupid question is that? Listen, if you don't have any other thing to say here, please use the gate. You are mad. You've lost it. Do you know who you're talking to? Are you okay? Auntie. Auntie, please, let's go. Let's go inside. Leave her alone. I'm thirsty. Hey, 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 come back here. Go inside, Ray. Where do you think you're going to? What did you just do now? What you just saw. Don't you dare. Don't you dare try this rubbish again. Yes. Yes, what? What will you do? Mm -hmm. You must be mad. Eh? You must be out of your senses. It is your father and your mother that are mad. <laughs> she slapped me. And I will do it again. Okay. Honey, please, we have to 
come home now. Yes. So Bessie came to the house. She even slapped me. Yes. Okay. This thing is mad. Hey, hey. Just consider. You will remain outside until he returns. You are mad for talking back at me. You must be very foolish for touching my boy. Now pack your things and leave. Just wait. I said pack your things quick. and leave. What is going on here? She sent him out of your house. She, she, she even slapped me two times. Did, did you touch her? I'm asking you. Brother, she beat Kelechi, so I slapped her. Are you mad? Are you nuts on something? You slapped my wife to be? Are you stupid? Anita, what are you doing here? Brother, I, I... I said what are you doing here? I'll leave. Leave, leave at once before I open my eyes. Don't, don't leave, I don't please. Mochi, who is she? My little cousin. <sighs> oh. This was your plan, right? You planned all this. No, wait. Just watch and see what I'll do. Sorry, brother. You're sorry? I sent you to school and all you could do is, is to spoil someone's home. I'm sorry, brother. Auntie, I'm very, very sorry for the way I reacted. I was deceived. I, I, I promise you to never Will you me. shut up? Look, next time when you are called for a business, you ask questions. Thank you. Get into the car. Get into the car! Think. Let's go. Where do you think you're going to what does that mean? It's simple. You are not the father of my son. Don't even go there. Don't even talk that rubbish again. Don't even use that stunt on me. Okay? Because it will not work. Take a proper look at this boy. I mean, Look closely at this handsome young man here. Does he in any way look like you? He's fair. You are dark. Does his eyes look like yours? Anne, if you continue with this drama, you will not like the outcome. Do you understand? Don't even start. Don't even go there. You know what? You're not going anywhere with the sun. Are you Come deaf? On. Go back. Are you deaf? I said he is not your son! You're joking, right? Kelechi! Listen! Oh, yeah. I'm not going to take any harassment from you. I have had enough of it. Don't try it again! I don't want to rough handle Let's you. Go. Don't even try it. Boys! Don't try it. Boys! Go back. Go back. Go back. Put him in the right place. If he misbehaves, you know what to do. Hey, 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 hey,